What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. So these are all my video game pickups for March of 2019. I know it's a couple of days early and I love watching videos like this and I've gotten great feedback on my videos and at least for me on pickups videos it gives me insight as to other types of games I might want to be buying. Anyway, let's start off with the PlayStation 4. So for this month, first game I got, it's only a couple of games on the PS4, but we have Valkyria Revolution. This is a great action RPG. I've not finished this game, but I have played about the first four or five hours of it. I found out about how great this game was from watching uh, Eric Landon RPG. If you guys are into RPGs, you might want to check out his channel. He's a wealth of knowledge. But Valkyria Revolution on the PlayStation 4. Great game when I played so far. And the next game is a great game. I'm sure you guys all know about this game, but Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition. I got this game like three days after it came out for 40 bucks. I know that's a lot of money to spend on a used game, but it just came out. I wanted to play it. Um, you know, I'm not really going to talk about this game too much on my channel because it was talked about so much on the Xbox 360 and there's already a ton of videos out on it now. But it is a great game and I played through it and it's exactly what I remember on the Xbox 360 just on the PlayStation 4, so that's awesome. But, Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition on the PlayStation 4. Okay, so for the PlayStation 1, now, I got a lot of PS1 games this month, more than I thought I got. I thought I just got like a couple here and there, but a couple turns into six real quick. So, first game I got is a game, I've seen this on another YouTuber's channel and it really interested me because this is like a toy set, I think it was a toy set that I never got as a kid, and that's Beyblade. Um, this is like a spinning top like arena battling game. Um, it, I, it was like, it was cheap. It was three bucks. This was a three dollar game. Um, it just looks interesting. I have not played this game yet. This game could be complete garbage. I don't know. It did interest me and I do dig the anime art style. And I know there's like some like anime cutscenes. I think there is in this game anyway. But for three dollars, Beyblade was a pickup for me this month anyway. Okay, the next pickup was a $9.99, so a $10 pickup, and that's Robo Pit 2. Now, this is yet again an arena, an arena like battling game. This is kind of like, I want to say virtual on, but not really. It's like you just fight a bunch of robots in an arena, and there was a Robo Pit, an original Robo Pit, obviously, since this is Robo Pit 2, that people say is a lot better, of a, it plays a lot better. But um, again, this is a game I only played for about five minutes on an emulator, so I haven't jumped that far into it yet. I actually got a lot of these games to do reviews on PS1 games that look kind of cool, but are they really worth it? So I do plan on picking a lot of games up like that and reviewing them. So anyway, that's one of the reasons why I picked up Robo Pit 2 on the PS1, and it's a cheap game. Um, this next game I actually got in a lot, a $20 lot. It was actually three games, and this is one of them and that is Galaga Destination Earth. Now, I would say that this game, it doesn't play like a shoot 'em up but it doesn't play like the original Galaga. I would say it kind of plays, this is kind of hard to explain, I want to say a mix between a, a traditional vertical scrolling shooter and Star Fox. Um, so yeah, that's kind of weird, I know, but it kind of plays like that, and it was only $20, like for the lot of three, and this was one of the games I got in that lot, but yeah, Galaga Destination Earth, um, haven't jumped that deep into this game, but I do plan on doing a review on this game in the future. And it's, this is another game that was part of that $20 lot. Um, this game I haven't played yet, but it does look really interesting, and that's Blaster Master. Um, actually, Blaster Master Blasting Again. Um, yeah, this game, I didn't know there was a Blaster Master game that came out on the PS1. Now, I've heard a lot of people say that this game has kind of a darker... Um, you know, more story-driven element than the original Blaster Master, and I, I'd say from what I've seen, I would have to agree. But I just didn't even know a Blaster Master game came out on the PS1. So yeah, Blaster Master Destination Earth. This was part of a twenty-dollar lot, and uh, one of my pickups from March of 2019. Uh, there was another game I got in that lot. There was a third game. It's gonna come to me. Ah. Right here. I'll just jump right into the other part of that lot, and that's Bangayo Spirits. So I ended up getting these three games for 20 bucks. Um, I, I just feel like that's a decent deal. But anyway, Bangayo Spirits, um, I have started playing this game. These are very short levels, and there's also a level creator inside of this game. So this is not like a traditional shoot 'em up. This is like a cross between a platformer and shoot 'em up. So that is kind of odd that I'm getting a lot of these multi genre games this month. But Anyway, Bangayo Spirits on the Nintendo DS. Uh, pretty awesome from what I've played so far. I've played through quite a few levels, and there's a lot of training that you can do to kind of uh, acclimate yourself to this game. So, yeah, definitely pick this up, guys. This is an awesome game that's cheap, and on the Dreamcast, this is like 100 bucks. 
on the DS. Uh, I mean, the store had it for $12.99, and I got it as part of a $20 lot. So, I mean, you can get this for dirt cheap, and the card only is probably a couple of dollars, you know. So, Van Gogh Spirits. Moving back to the PS1. Okay, next game I got for $25, bucks, and I was super psyched about this game because I love the original, and that is Vandal Hearts 2. Now, I played the original Vandal Hearts on the PS1. I own it. Um, that game really uh, got me into strategy RPGs, to be honest with you. Just the, uh, the humor and the blood and the blood squirting everywhere. I'm totally into that. And it's a really simple command system for strategy RPGs, even more so uh, than, than the original Shining Force games, in my opinion. But anyway, Vandal Hearts 2 on the PS1, awesome game. Uh, I, I, I do plan on going through this entire game and maybe reviewing it. I don't know. Um, but you know, 25 bucks. You know, I'm not gonna leave it there for 25 bucks. Uh, and this next game I got in a trade. I traded. I did a video on this. I traded a not Wild Guns, Sunset Riders. I traded a Sunset Riders for a Ghost in the Shell. It was from a game store. Decent trade. I feel like I would re much rather play Ghost in the Shell on the PS1 uh, than Sunset Riders on the SNES. That's just me. I can play that through an emulator. Although I could play this through an emulator, but it's a lot more fun to play this on my PS3 with a DualShock 3. So, anyway, Ghost in the Shell. You command one of those uh, those mechs that they have in Ghost in the Shell. I forget what they're called, but you kind of command one of those. And it, this is just a really, really fun game on the PS1 as far as action goes. Uh, the programmers really, uh, they went all out with this and the anime cutscenes and all the cutscenes in general are just fire on this game. So, yeah, Ghost in the Shell. Uh, I think it's not standalone complex. Yeah, it's just called Ghost in the Shell on the PS1. Awesome game. If you see this, definitely grab it. It's awesome. And that is it for the PS1. I did get another Nintendo DS game this month. And that game, it's card only. It's Nano Stray 2. Uh, this is actually a shoot 'em up for the Nintendo DS. I've actually been looking for Nano Stray 1 and 2 for a couple of years now. This is the first time I've found one of these carts in my area. Yeah, I guess I could buy this stuff online. I don't know why I don't. Um, but I'm, you know, really watching my spending, so I only try to get new video games from the, the sales and trades from old video games that I don't play anymore that have, you know, either gone up in value or that I don't really play anymore. But anyway, Nano Stray 2, awesome game on the DS. You should definitely check this out. And both of these games are really cheap, even though they're rare and hard to find. These are very cheap games. I think you can get this brand new on eBay for under $30, I think for both of them. Uh, but yeah, Nano Stray 2, awesome game. You see one of these, one or two, card only, just grab it unless you need it complete, but I don't need it complete. Um, okay, so this next game was probably my best pickup this month. It's actually a PC shooter, it's Valstar. Um, I've talked about this game on my channel before. Um, those of you that watch my channel know how much I love shoot 'em ups It's my favorite uh, genre of video game. It's, it's definitely my favorite. It's my favorite to collect for, and games like this will never leave my collection. Like, check this shit out. In order for me to part with something like this, even though it was super cheap, I'd have to get hooked on crack to get rid of something like this so this is uh this was really important to me and um it's just a great great windows game i mean this game there's some dojin shooters out there guys that you, you see me live stream every now and then that i just i love that i i you know every now and then we get concept or console ports of these games uh, you know more notably uh limited run games did a uh, aster breed release and i was shocked when i saw that on their website and another uh, company I've been playing their PC games for like the past five years is Plantine Dispositif. And you might have seen some of their games on strictly limited games like uh, not, uh, Bunny Must Die and Gundamoniums, which there are many uh, games in the Gundamoniums, uh, I want to say series of games. Uh, they did release one of them on the PS4, so I was super happy about that. I made sure I got the strictly limited version on the Vita, and actually for the PS4, I got the straight Dojin port that came out on the PS4 over in Japan on the PS4 physically. I got that, so I was super excited. And it was like 20 bucks too, brand new. Um, that's what's great about them Dojin games. So yeah, definitely my best pickup of the month, uh, at least in my opinion. Uh, when I show you guys this next game, you're probably gonna disagree with me, but yeah, this was like 17, 15 or 17 dollars. I forget, but Valstar. If you, if you happen to see a copy. I would pick it up if you see it. I've, I've only seen one copy of my entire time I've been on this earth, and uh, I grabbed it as soon as I saw it, but yeah, that'll start. Definitely collect PC games. Now, this next game was $38 because it was missing its registration card. Can you believe that? Disc is in great condition, it's complete, and that is Lunar, the Silver Star on the Sega CD. I'm a huge fan of the Lunar series. 
Now, I, I adored Lunar the Silver Star back in high school, or Silver Star Story Complete or whatever for the PS1. I adored that game, I loved it. Played through both of the games on the PS1. Uh, I actually own Lunar 2 on the Sega CD and played through that and loved that. Uh, you know, there, there are major differences between the Sega CD, uh, the PlayStation, the PSP, uh, the, the Game Boy Advance, I want to say the Nintendo DS, but that, that Lunar game shouldn't even be part of the series. I don't know why they, they did that. It really upsets me. Um, but I love Lunar. I never owned the, the Sega CD version, even though you can emulate it easily with the uh, MD.EMU. Uh, check that emulator out if you want to emulate Sega CD. If you can't emulate it on RetroArch or anywhere else, MD.EMU probably has a, I want to say a 30 or 40 percent compatibility rate and Lunar the Silver Star is one of the games on that compatibility rate list. Um, I've played through it actually on that emulator, it runs fine. Um, but you know, it's just a great story, it's a coming, coming of age story for a boy named Alex who uh, has a role model, a guy that he, uh, a hero of, of sorts called Dragon Master Dine and he, uh, the, the Dragon Master is the person that kind of protects the Earth from all the evil forces and he sets out pre pretty much to be the next Dragon Master and I don't want to ruin the story, that's just uh, the gist of it, that's the gist of the story, but I'm a huge fan of the series, like I got like merchandise, I, I'm not a big collectibles guy, but I got like merchandise from uh, Working Designs when this came out and I owned this game as a, as a child for the PS1 and I had posters in my room and I was just such a huge fan. And as a matter of fact, I would go as far as to say the, the original Lunar on the PS1, not this version, but the PS1 version, is the reason why I semi-collect, you know, video games. Um, that's the truth, Lunar, it started it all for me. Um, so, anyway, that's all the video games I got for March of 2019. Um, you know, $38 for this, like, that's crazy. I, I, man, I made out on that one. I knew every time I saw that at a convention, I saw it was like 200 bucks, and I never would buy it because I'm not going to spend $200 on a video game. I mean, I have before, but not on a Lunar. I mean, knowing I could find it a lot cheaper, and I waited, and it really, really, really worked out for me. And I got that from a retro store because it was missing its registration card. Can you believe that? Maybe one day I'll upgrade the manual and get one with the registration card, but until that day, I am completely happy with this. Like I was saying, guys, that's everything I got from March of 2019. And, you know, not as uh, not as crazy as other months, but this is the kind of month I like. I'm not spending a lot of money. I want to say I'll probably put out a little over $100 for all this stuff, and I'm, I'm really, really happy with that. And that's exactly where I want to be. And if there's something I own that somebody will appreciate a lot more than me, I'm more than happy to let that item go. Guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys got this month because I want to hear about some awesome pickups down below in the comment section. If you're not subscribed to the channel and you like awesome video games, you might want to subscribe to the channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you guys like the video if you like the video. Till next time, guys. Peace out.